It's like they were buzzing the watchtower here. Good thing I didn't have a cup of coffee in my hand like the Top Gun scene. Remember that one? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Eric Connor. So San Diegans all across the county are going to be able to watch this spectacular show. The skilled pilots who make up the U.S. Air Force's Thunderbirds are soaring over our skies right now to honor our health care heroes. Let's get it out to News 8's Ned Alronport live on Harbor Island. You seen these guys yet? Not quite yet, but we are seeing more and more people gathering right here. So this is a really good view right here along Harbor Island. I uh, used to, of course, see downtown San Diego from here. And look at all these people with their fancy cameras, all their photography gear. They are ready for the Thunderbirds to fly over. In fact, they're going to be going right over downtown San Diego, over Harbor Island, and then heading right over Coronado as well. So the bay seems to be a pretty nice spot. All of this happening for healthcare workers, first responders, Way to really thank everyone on the front lines, but also all of the essential workers and anyone who's been impacted by this COVID-19 pandemic. As you know, this has touched pretty much everyone's life across the country, across the world, in fact. So really, the Thunderbirds are saying they're doing this to say thank you. Thank you for following the stay-at-home orders. Thank you for keeping social distancing if you do go out. And thank you for wearing your masks to protect one another. So we heard from the pilot, uh, Major Trevor Aldridge. He's going going to be the number two pilot in this Delta formation and he was really saying this is all something very special that they are grateful they get to do. Here's the flight plan right there on your screen. You see how they're starting in Chula Vista uh, across the South Bay. That's where they are I believe right now because they were starting right at noon and we know how uh, the Air Force is always prompt on time <laughs> and right now it looks like skies are nice and clear for them. Winds uh, not too bad. Five ten mile per hour winds here across the coastline but really to see barely any clouds out there. That's always good news. They're also going to be flying pretty low to the ground, just 500 feet above ground. So once they do make it across our skies, that's pretty much as tall as some of the towers here across San Diego. In fact, the tallest tower in downtown San Diego stands at 500 feet. So that goes to show how low they will be. That means they're going to be very loud as they come across your neighborhoods, but they're going to be all from the South Bay through downtown. They're going to go to East County as well. La Mesa, El Cajon, you're all included in this. In fact, I'm getting word now they just took, took off from the South Bay, so they're going to be flying over various hospitals. We were at Sharp Chula Vista earlier this morning, swung by Sharp Memorial Hospital as well, and that's where many doctors and nurses and all the hospital staff, whoever's not uh, doing emergency work right now, they will be coming out into the parking lot. Of course, they're keeping their six foot of distance from each other, but they will be out to take a look at this view because this is really for them as a way to say thank you to them. Our chopper eight is also uh, flying alongside the Thunderbird, so they should get a pretty good view from their vantage point too. But uh, we're going to be keeping a close eye from Harbor Island as well because they're going to do a kind of loop around the bay from this location. And again, they're going to be flying 500 feet above ground, so you'll hear them. And they're going really fast. We're talking 500 miles an hour. Uh, as Eric said, these are skilled pilots with the Air Force. They've had several, several years of experience, specific experience to be able to fly for the Thunderbirds. And normally they'd be at various air shows across the country right now, but since those have been canceled due to the pandemic, this is their way of still putting their skills to good use and also their way of saying thank you. It's part of a, a collaborative group with the Navy and the Air Force, the Blue Angels. They've been doing this as well, and they're doing this in various cities all across the country. They've flown in places like D.C. and Philly and New York, of course, and now San Diego gets a view of this site. So again, they took off just a few moments ago from the South Bay. They'll be going through Chula Vista, through National City, looks to be right over various hospitals, hospitals like Sharp, uh, Paradise Valley Hospital, right along the five, and then they'll be coming right near the airport here at Harbor Island over Coronado as well. So we'll get a really good view and we'll be listening for them because of course I'm assuming we're going to hear them before they fly right over. And a lot of people are standing by, but you know, they also want you to keep in mind uh, the stay at home orders are still in effect, so they don't want you to gather or travel to see them. They just, you know, are doing quite a expansive route across San Diego. So that's why they're asking everyone to just step outside, look out your window if you can, your driveway as well. Uh, but there's no reason to gather in groups. Of course, that defeats the whole purpose of this. Uh, this is really a way to pay tribute to everyone impacted by the pandemic, everyone who has obviously felt isolated through this pandemic. Their main message is we are in this together. In fact, they have that written on the side of their fighter jets. So to see fighter jets with that right there, 
Uh, Chopper 8, I believe, is uh, getting us a live picture right now of the Thunderbirds, so you can see them there from that view. And yeah, such an impressive sight. They're wow. three feet apart from each other. That's how close they can fly uh, at that high rate of speed. I mean, that is incredible. Look at that. that uh, they do this, and we get to see this. <laughs> yeah, Eric, I hear you now responding to the video from where I am. I can't see what you're seeing at home, but uh, we'll get to see them as they fly right over us. Too. And, and Etta, they're coming towards you quickly, as you said. 500 miles per hour, just 500 <laughs> feet above the ground. Look at the perfect formation. All six of those fighters are in. I mean, just incredible how fast they're moving. You can't even see the neighborhoods <laughs> below. They're moving so quickly. Let us know when you hear them coming towards you because we can switch to the ground shot here. Uh, but this is a formation that was created 67 years ago in 1953. The Thunderbirds are the third oh, are oldest flying acrobatic okay, aerobatic team right in the world. Okay, let's get back to Netta. We could. All right, here we go. They're right behind you guys. So we're looking right here uh, across basically Harbor Island. They're coming right through. You can see those fighter jets right there. And oh my goodness, now they're doing kind of a upside down loop right there. And here they come. I mean, I got the chills. I don't know about you guys at home, but this is incredible to see. And yeah, you can hear it. That is power. That is immense power right there. Ooh. A show of force, right? Oh, yeah. A salute Amazing. from the yeah, Navy and the Air strong. Force to That's recognize our healthcare workers. Is. <laughs> I'm counting. There's six in that Delta formation you were talking about. There's one other fighter jet right behind that triangle and then another one following right behind them. So just incredible to see. Oh, there's another fighter jet behind that group. So there are now uh, nine of them in the sky that we're seeing right over the harbor, right over Coronado. Now they're going along the Coronado Bridge, as you see in the distance, but it is incredible. Yeah, it keeps your heart pounding. That's for sure, just to see them flying overhead. They warned us. They said they were going to be loud, and they sure were loud. And yeah, they go pretty fast, of course. Uh, now they're headed all the way to East County. So you guys are next in line. Uh, La Mesa, El Cajon, get ready. You're going to see that view. They're going to take a route basically along Coronado and then going um, along the eight uh, through La Mesa. They're gonna do a loop right around El Cajon through East County before they head back to the five split actually. So they're gonna be right there where those wow. hospitals are, right along Genesee where UCSD is and Scripps and Sharp. So many hospitals are getting this tribute. And you know, those doctors and nurses certainly have worked really hard, all the hospital staff. So they're outside uh, their parking lots uh, right now is what we've been told for many of the hospital people. And they are uh, able to look up and see that site and I can tell you I mean it is incredible just to feel that energy flying right over our heads <laughs> Eric and Netta, it's just incredible to see the precision as you were talking about you can just only hope that the doctors and nurses are watching that incredible salute to them they call it America strong this collaborative salute from the Navy the Air Force to thank our first responders I mean we we do the best we can on the ground and sending them letters right and bringing them food but to see that right. a few hundred feet above you, wow, that is just incredible. What a sight to oh, see. Yeah.